Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In aquaculture, chemicals help us manage water quality, disinfection, and animal health. But improper handling can be dangerous. In this video, we'll show you how to use and store essential aquaculture chemicals safely following their MSDS guidelines. Let's look at the purpose of each chemical we use on the farm. Calcium chloride is commonly used to increase calcium levels in the water, which is essential for crustacean shell development, especially during molting. Magnesium chloride helps maintain the right magnesium balance, supporting the overall health of shrimps and crabs, especially in low salinity systems. Sodium bicarbonate is often used to buffer pH levels helping to maintain a stable environment in bioflock systems. Calcium hypochlorite is used as a powerful disinfectant ideal for cleaning tanks, equipment, and preparing water before stocking. Sodium thiosulfate serves as a neutralizer. It's especially useful for removing chlorine after disinfection or from treated tap water. Hydrochloric acid is used to check alkalinity of the water. Although we don't use potassium permanganate on our farm, it's known in aquaculture for treating external parasites and bacterial infections, but it must be handled with caution. Sea salt is a key component in our water mixing process to achieve optimal salinity for species, like vaname shrimp and mud crabs. Iodine is typically used as an antiseptic for disinfection, especially for equipment or during hatchery work. Lastly, alcohol usually ethanol or isopropyl is used for sanitizing tools, thermometers, and small equipment during handling or sampling. In this section, let's look at how to handle and store common aquaculture chemicals safely. First, we have calcium chloride and magnesium chloride. These should be handled with care to avoid dust, and hands must be washed after use. Store them in sealed containers in a dryer air as both are hygroscopic and absorb moisture easily. Next is sodium bicarbonate avoid contact with eyes, skin, and clothing, and ensure good ventilation during use. It should be stored in a cool, dry, and shaded location, with only minimal quantities kept on hand. For calcium hypochlorite, avoid all contact with skin and eyes, and keep it away from heat or ignition sources it must never be stored near acids or moisture, as it's a strong oxidizer. Moving on to sodium thiosulfate, avoid inhaling the dust and handle any spills carefully. Store it in a sealed, dry container, well away from acids. When handling hydrochloric acid, always add acid to water, not the other way around, and wear full PPE. Store it upright in a cool, ventilated area, away from reactive materials like bases. Though not used in our farm, it's important to mention potassium permanganate this should only be handled in well-ventilated areas, with care taken to avoid dust. It must be stored far from combustible materials and anything organic. For sea salt, wear protective eyewear when handling and store it in a dry place, away from direct light. Iodine requires full PPE and must be kept dry, cool and below 25C avoid storing it in metal containers. Lastly, alcohol must be handled carefully to prevent contact with heat, sparks, or flames, and containers should be grounded during transfer, stored in a cool, ventilated area, away from oxidizing materials. If you're handling chemicals on your farm, stay informed and stay safe. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe to RAS Aquaculture for more aquaculture tips.